Hello, sweet souls. Happy Wednesday, July 13th. I wanted to come on and do a quick reading. I am headed out, um, but I wanted to do what to expect um, for the super full moon that's tonight. Um, actually, I believe it's 2.38 p.m., but definitely do your manifestation tonight. So I wanted to ask what's coming in. We got a couple cards from yesterday, The Never Ending Story and Unfinished Symphony. Um, this is you closing out uh, completely this never-ending story. This is a karmic cycle that continues um, and has continued through many lifetimes. And this person continues to try to pull at your energy. But I see that you are releasing this karmic cycle, whether this is mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, the memories, any pain attached to it, you are completely closing out any remnants of this cycle, this cycle. And the unfinished business is not your concern because it's not your energy. Um, the fork in the road was this is the final decision, the final cut, cleaning it up, chopping the wood, releasing, uh, chopping the wood is actually another card, but you're just, you're cleaning house mentally. You are, you already made that decision. You know how far you've come and you're done. You're just done. So there's, <clears throat> this is like a spiritual and emotional purging that's taken place for the super moon. What else do we need to know? Holy Spirit. Oh, St. Michael, please return to sender. Anyone sending ill will. Your thought order action toward myself or the viewer. I don't know if I, I'm so tired, guys. So I don't know if I already said that. I'm going to ask the Holy Spirit, angels, and saints. What else do we need to know for the super full moon? Super full moon. What else do we need to know, please? Yeah, there's that choice. Choosing yourself. Choosing yourself. Um, loving yourself. Moving forward. Not putting any work into things that are a never-ending story. You know where that cycle goes. To nothing but headache, heartache, pain, suffering. You just, you have no, <clears throat> no energy to put toward somebody that causes you just pain or confusion. Yeah. You're not dealing with abandonment or rejection from this person anymore. You're releasing yeah, moving on. This is the three of wands knowing your ships are coming in. This is for some of you travel. Um, but this is seeing seeing the bigger picture, seeing brighter days, knowing they're coming in because you have received that clarity from the divine. So you know, you know what's coming in for you. Yeah. You know, you experience this destruction so that you could come into a place where you could have better. You could never have received better with this person that repeats the same cycle over and over and over again. So you allowed that tower to fall and now you protect yourself because like I said, you have received divine wisdom, enlightenment. This is the ace of swords, the sort of truth, the sort of victory. You have received that clarity that you need about who this person is or who these people are. And um, you know what you need to do, yeah. By God, you're coming out as this very grounded, stable, financially secure individual, and that's what's coming. More stability uh, for the super full moon. More clarity, more stability. Divine love. This kind of came out cockeyed. Divine love is coming in. Be patient. Multiple opportunities are headed your way. And this could be career and finance. Super full moon. What do we need to know about the super full moon? Wow, yeah. You are in your empress energy. You are attracting. You are very abundant. You're high vibrational. You're not affected by by anything that's beneath you, that's petty. Drama. You're not you're you're not affected by it. You are the star. And that's what you're destined to be in the limelight. This is a wish fulfillment. You are coming into a time of peace. Again, I see this card as possible travel as well. For the super full moon. Super full moon. Yeah. You, your rejection of lower vibrational energies is going to cause heartbreak. But that's, that's not your concern. It's not your concern at all. You know, somebody may try to rush in that's very uh, emotionally, mentally imbalanced. Um, but you know who these energies are because, you know, God has given you all the clarity that you need. 
and that's why you protect your energy. Anything else for the super full moon? Yeah. They're just saying it's karmic soul connections that put you in a third party. Um, they are in God's hands now, and we are in the energy of releasing and moving forward. So there's nothing left that you need to do other than to release this never-ending story. Yeah, you are. Look, you're releasing conflict. You're releasing being bound to an energy that is so toxic that it's just like a parasite. Truly, it is. It's a parasite that just brings more sadness, more pain. You're learning to love yourself. Um, during this new super full moon, you're going to be having heightened intuition. More strength. Confidence in yourself. Super full moon. Yeah, a new opportunity will be coming your way and it is divinely protected. No one can take this opportunity from you because God makes sure that that opportunity is protected. Who is this? Please. Yeah. This comes out all the time. Someone from the past that was controlling and dominating. Um, they might want to come in and apologize, communicate with you. But it's because they are being hit with karma. They're heavy and regret. Use your discernment. Yeah, they, there's no wishes coming true for this person. They're in the Ten of Swords pain because they're, they're experiencing justice for their deception. It's over. You closed out the cycle. You dropped the burden. And you're headed toward a brand new beginning. This is a passionate new beginning in love and career. You're this Queen of Swords. And look at this. You're being paired up with a divine partner, which is beautiful. Love offer from a divine partner. It's bringing in happiness, which is amazing. So... This is what I would call tying up loose ends. And <clears throat> that's what this saber moon is bringing in for us is tying up loose ends, releasing energetically um, any attachment to this energy or any effects of this energy. Um, for the other person, for the cross watcher, this is um, a come to Jesus moment for you. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. You are being made accountable, brought to justice under God's judgment. So, we'll see anything else. Yeah. They're in a mental prison. They're in, in a mental prison tormented by the thoughts of what they've done, wanting to communicate. But here's God. God is protecting you from this energy. Yeah. they. God just wants you to, to release it and, and move on. Because what you have coming in is beautiful. And he doesn't want you affected by this person's energy anymore. Yeah, look, you are a missed opportunity. You were the best thing this person ever had. You have um, an increase during this super full moon in finance and career. You also have stability here. This can be a twin flame soulmate union, but this brings in so much stability in your life. Um, and this is a gift. Yeah, there's that love offer from your twin flame soulmate. Again, these two cards came out side by side in the previous deck. You're loving, you're kind, you're empathetic, you're learning to love yourself, and you are so strong. There is no one that can knock you off that throne because you've already been through hell and back on your own with no support from anyone but God. So now who can beat you? If God's for you, who can beat you? No one. Yep, again, this came out next to it in the other deck, the star. You're meant to be seen. You're meant to be in the limelight. You're meant to speak your truth. Yeah. You, you go within. You go within to uh, receive wisdom. God's divine wisdom. You have a creative new idea that's coming in. A spark and inspiration that's going to lead to financial security. Stability. You're coming out as the masculine. King of Pentacles. Grounded, stable, financially secure, and confident. You are confident going to be recognized. This is all the good that you put out. This is your creative endeavors. It's going to be recognized. People are going to see you for who you are. Yeah. In your power, strong and confident. Very driven. Lady of luxury energy. Financial abundance. Financial reward. Being independent and confident. 
That's what's coming for the super moon. Yeah. You're working on your manifestations. You're putting your energy toward what it is you want to call into your future reality. And it's coming in quick. What do you want us to know about this deceiver? Yeah. You're, moved, you're moving away from any deception. You know, God has given you so much enlightenment and clarity about who these deceivers are. They can't even, you know, look, he's running and she, they're in the boat already gone on the water. They can't even, he can't even catch her or him. It's like doing anything to try to come in to, to disrupt, but God's already taken you away on the boat. This guy will never catch up. He'll never be able, he can't run on water. He certainly isn't Jesus, that's for sure. I don't know why they showed me that. Wow. Yeah, you got some big time truth and clarity coming in. Somebody wants to speak truth. Somebody's going to speak some truth to you. What is this truth about? What is this truth? What is this truth? Wow, again. A divine partnership this could be communication from someone that is your match this is a different deck king and queen of swords two people that are honest and loyal that speak their truth they are their true authentic self and it brings in balance a lot of you are going to be meeting your divine partner if you haven't already and this is the truth <laughs> this is the truth wow going to be meeting your divine partner and it took you going through that suffering to elevate, to know yourself, to love yourself, to know what you were worthy of. So don't be bitter or angry because of what you experienced. It was a blessing. It was a true blessing. Yeah. Now you're you're blocking anyone that's anyone that's in low vibration that you don't trust or that it doesn't give honor or respect or love to you. You're just blocking them. Yeah, you're you're definitely in your power. This is you being your own boss, boss energy, setting boundaries in your power, proud and confident. And you are not only do you defend yourself, but God, the angels and saints, you are so protected. These people that keep trying to send hate or negative energy, these karmics, they're delusional. They have no idea what they're calling in. And I don't care if they believe in karma or not. It didn't matter. Yeah, you have a soul connection. This is a soulmate that's coming in. Um, yeah, look at this. These karmics have to watch you have be have your best life, moving on, having success, having love, having happiness. You know, all they want to do is bring in more drama, but you've transformed, and there's nothing they can do to touch you. And if they don't stop, it's not, they're gonna end up in a place they can't return from. That's all I'm gonna say. They can't escape. If they don't stop, you know, you can't touch a divine being. You're just bringing on more, more karma for yourself. Don't even do it. But they, they're, not, they're not smart enough to get it. And I hate to say it that way, but it's true. They don't believe in karma. They don't believe in God. All things that justify bad behaviors because they don't want to be accountable. But they're going to be in for a really rude awakening. Life is going to keep getting worse and worse and worse. No, we don't wish it. We don't wish it. It's their own actions and it's karmic justice. And there's nothing you can do about it. And it's not your job to do anything about it. That's between them and God. So release whatever hold, whatever memory you have, just release it with love and move on because what God has for you is amazing. Okay, guys, I love you. Um, I will try to come on tomorrow. I'll have to see how I feel and do another reading. I love you guys. Bye-bye.